Stable diffusion 3.5 is here and no, it is not a resistor like SD3. From the get go, it is available on Comfy UI. Let's see how you can install it in your PC and if it is any good. If you are thinking about licensing terms, we shall come to that in a moment. Spoiler, it is a lot better than SD3 but there is a major caveat. Now let's get started. Here is the release blog post from Stability AI. You can go and read it from the given link. For this tutorial, we are going to use this blog post from Comfy. Stability AI released two models actually, the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large and the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large Turbo. The Turbo model needs only four steps to generate an image and it is a lot faster compared to the large model. You can download the checkpoint models from Hugging Face. The link is down there. You need to input your details in this page to access the files. Along with that, you would need these clip and text encoder files. If you do not already have them, just follow these links to download the clip files and this one for the text encoder. Copy and paste the checkpoint files inside the checkpoint folder in Comfy UI. Paste the clip files into the clip folder and the text encoders inside the text encoder folder. You have two choices for text encoders, the FP8 version and the FP16 version. If you have a superior PC, you can easily go with the FP16 version. But if you are running on a primitive graphics card like mine, you should stick to the FP8 version. You need one other thing, the workflow. That can be found here. Now launch the Comfy UI. Go to the Comfy UI manager, update the Comfy UI, load this workflow and it's ready. Sometimes it might show some errors. Just select the models in the notes to solve the issue. Now let's try some prompts to find out how this model really performs. Also, we shall see how fast the turbo model really is and how good it is against the original large model. In case of landscapes, this model is truly wonderful and much better than all the stable diffusion models we have seen so far. Keep in mind, I am talking about the base SD models, not the fine-tuned ones. It creates great portraits too. You would need some tweaking with the prompts, but moreover, it creates good portraits. The text generation capabilities are much better than stable diffusion 3 and obviously a lot better than all the previous models. Well, here I reused my prompt from the Flux 1 video, so... While trying to create an anime image, it created a photo, one with a disfigured anatomy. That's disappointing. On some other tests, it did create some good images though, but still this is not acceptable that an image turned clearly an anime prompt into a photorealistic image. Now when trying a very detailed prompt, this is where it shines. From what I remember, this image is quite better than the Flux Chanel model in case of detailed prompts. Is it as good as or even better than the Flux Dev model? I need to do some experiments to find out. I'll make a video about that. Now it's time to run the Turbo model. Portraits are good in this one too. Anime are kind of okay-ish. You can spot some quite basic mistakes in anime images here. Like the hand position. In this image there is no hand holding the sword at all. One thing I have noticed that the images generated with SD 3.5 Turbo is actually a lot similar to original SD 1.5 images. I don't know why but this gives a really similar vibe to that. Even with this wizard prompt from SD 3.0 release, this image looks like it was generated by SD 1.5. And SD 3.5 Turbo is actually a lot better with simpler prompts compared to more detailed ones. With detailed prompts, the image quality suffers. This is quite similar to what we get in the Flux 1 Chanel model compared to Flux 1 Dev model. From the rough comparisons, the large model does perform quite better than the turbo model. But if we consider the speed, the turbo model might be worth it. The large model needs more than 2 minutes to generate a 1024 by 1024 image using my 12GB NVIDIA card, while the turbo model needs only 10 seconds. That's more than 12 times the speed. That's very impressive. Considering the fact that it is giving a usable image with just 4 steps. Licensing terms. After that backlash from people about that previous version's licensing terms, looks like Stability AI has decided to listen to its users this time. The license for this one is not completely vague like SD 3.0, but not as welcoming as Flux 1 either. It does give you the commercial license that we all have been asking for, but with a major fine print. You are free to use this model and its derivatives as much as you want, but the license is revocable. Yes, they can take it away anytime they want. I have explained the major issues with the license and why you might not want to use SD 3.5 at all in this next very important video.